So you have 1.389 meters per second squared times t squared minus 33 meters per second times t equals zero. So the quadratic formula we know right here is the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So this is your a term, this is your b, and your c is zero. So you have 33.33 plus or minus the square root of negative 33.33 squared minus 4 times 1.389 times 0 all over 2 times 1.389. And this would cancel out because it's being multiplied by 0. So once you calculated this all out, it's 33 plus or minus the square root of 1110.8889 all over 2.778. And then that leaves you with 23.9965 seconds, which is your time. So that's how long it will take the police officer to reach the speeder. And since you know that, you can find out how fast the police officer will be traveling at this time by using the formula VF equals VI plus AT, because you know all of these values now. So you plug in, um, the initial velocity, which is 0 meters per second, plus your acceleration, which you know is 2.778 meters per second squared, and you know the time, it is 23.9965 seconds, and you multiply that all out, and you are left with 66.66 meters per second, which is the final velocity of the police officer, and that is your answer.